Hi, this is Create and Cherish. I'm going to be doing today a Constellation Rocks video tutorial. So at the end, your rocks should look something like you can see here on the pictures. So since uh, it would last for much too long if I did all of the Constellation Rocks, I will start with Libra and Sagittarius. Uh, I'm sure if none of you are one of these signs, you know at least one person who is. And also I'm sure that you uh, have an idea to give someone something related to their horoscope at least once in your life. It's always a nice, nice uh, token of appreciation or a nice little gift. And now you can do it also on your own uh, if you follow this tutorial, of course. You may have seen it uh, a while ago, a couple of seconds ago, that I'm using again Cadence acrylic paints. This time I'm using uh, pearl metallic paint for the stars. Uh, the important thing with the stars is to put a big drop of paint onto your rock so you can use uh, this little uh, extra paint uh, for the tips of the stars or I don't know how I should call it for the shine of the stars there is no rule how you will do it just select your smallest dotting tool and play with them Uh, when it comes to the design of the constellations, uh, this is something I always had trouble with because if you write in Google constellations, you will get so many different designs of each uh, zodiac sign that your head might hurt. So it's hard to pick one of them. Uh, I might put a link to the reference I was using in the description so you can find it easier. And it's uh, also good to just paint it with a pencil so you know what you're doing. I'm gonna connect the little dots with a small tiny dots of paint. So it looks like Libra in the end. Uh, don't be afraid uh, at this first phase if your dots don't really look uh, pretty as you think they should because after the color is dried enough and uh, everything is done in, at the end uh, you're gonna fix uh, everything you're not satisfied with and you're gonna put another layer of this purple or maybe you can use gold paint uh, on top of it so your colors so your dots really pop out from the stars i'm gonna be doing a couple of little stars uh, at the rock besides the main zodiac sign you can do it if you want or don't you don't have to for me it just looks nicer and again, I'm gonna go over them one more time in the end with another layer of paint.
once I'm done with uh, Libra, I'm gonna switch to the Sagittarius rock. I already did uh, half of it. So you will notice that some constellations have much more stars than the others. So it's hard to do it on a smaller rock. You will have to choose the size of the rock accordingly to the size of the constellation si uh, sign. So for example, Aquarius, Virgo, Sagittarius. Oh, sorry, this is Aquarius. This is not, uh, this is not Sagittarius. So Aquarius, uh, Virgo, and uh, Pisces are usually the biggest signs and you will need bigger rocks for this time. You might have noticed uh, that in my shop on Etsy, I have another version of the Constellation Rocks design. It's, let's say, um, less time-consuming version, but uh, I did this version for, let's say, two years now, and I got a little bit bored of it, so I thought I might design something a little bit different. And this is the reason why I'm doing now new constellations and they will be in my shop after this video, of course, also. But feel free to check out the other version as well, because it might be a little bit easier and uh, faster for you to do it. And starting with my first dots, I have chosen two colors to be the dominant colors on the stone. One of them will be shades of blue and the other one shades of purple. I find it most pretty for constellation rocks. You can choose others as well. Once I've tried with the shades of red and orange, it also looks nice. So what I'm trying to do here is to put a lot of blue on one end of the rock and a little bit of blue that's on the other end of the rock because uh, at the other end uh, of this rock uh, purple will be the dominant color so this this way I'm not just gonna have a colorful rock I'm gonna have like gradient from purple to, uh, to blue you can see here also cancer constellation I'm gonna I'm doing kind of uh, several rocks at once so this is the reason why you're seeing different constellation signs I'm gonna be doing again uh, putting a lot of blue on one side of the rock and a little bit blue on the other side and this will change with the shades and the colors I'm mixing
when switching to another shade uh, this time i'm just adding a little bit of white so i don't get uh, too big color difference on my rug so i'm gonna be doing at least three or four different shades of blue the important thing when doing this is that you have uh, the same blue but lighter or darker so if you, if you choose another uh, blue color I mean once you're using navy and then the other time you're using some kind of metallic blue it will be just a colorful rock you wouldn't get this uh, sky effect or night sky effect that I'm trying to accomplish Now again I'm doing a little bit lighter version. Uh, in this version I added uh, just a small 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 amount of turquoise paint uh, to change the shade a little bit, to change the color a little bit and to make a color that will be easy to uh, turn into purple version. As you can see, I'm continuing to put a lot of blue on the one end of the rock and a little bit blue dots on the other way of the rock, on the other side of the rock. Once you have the biggest area covered with these biggest dots, you can use the smaller tool for putting uh, little dots in the blanks that you have open. But uh, be careful to leave at least a little bit of space in this uh, blue area so you can, you can put a couple of purple dots as well there.
Now I added a little amount of purple of purple color into my blue mixture. So again, uh, the reason why I didn't just create uh, another purple color uh, from scratch is to have this transition from blue to purple. So you have to be careful to do little little uh, gradients and not. Uh, a lot of different colors. I'm gonna fill the other side of the rock with purple color and then again I'm gonna put different shades and layers of purple color on top of it. Although I am doing a lot now a uh, kind of dark uh, purple dots, I plan to soften them uh, afterwards with uh, lighter shades of purple on top of it. I always find it nicer when the lighter shades are on top of it. But this dark purple will get a little bit of variation to the box, so I like it this way. As you can see on the video, I have uh, areas uh, already almost done and the other one is, I think, Taurus that you can see.
This is important part which I noticed earlier where you are gonna put the extra paint on the pearl stars. Uh, this way they will look much more like stars than like wet painted dots and uh, you will get nice 3D effect of them and if you have uh, the time and the will you can put the third layer after everything is dried. And after you do this uh, second layer of the stars, you can just pick your smallest dotting tool and fill all the blanks uh, either with uh, purple or pearl or blue, light, light blue color until you think you're done with your rock. You can see here that I did put a uh, golden color as well. I think it looks nice on these constellation rocks. Uh, I tried to put it only on one side of the rock, not on the whole rock and not too much of it. You can maybe create little bunches of golden stars at some, at some area of the rock if you want. And I think this is almost it, so for me I have only like 10 constellation rocks more to finish, which will last for hours and hours, but uh, for you I think this should be good enough to help you get started to create a little gift for someone you like.
you can see here uh, two pictures of the final rocks. Uh, the first one is Sagittarius and the second one is Libra. So at this point I'm kind of satisfied with what I've done. And I also created this uh, short video for you to show you how all the rocks turned out. I like them, I don't know about you. Of course all this could be done with the another types of shades or colors but I have to say I like this turquoise uh, bluish uh, purplish color.